Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hello, my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm coming to you guys from Nairobi in Kenya. Eh, there's lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> okay, take three and no more lipstick. <laughs> the struggle. Hello, my friends. You guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the third time I'm trying to film this intro. <laughs> Anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Wale O. I'm a content creator based in Germany and I make um, content around moving abroad, living abroad, career, travel, and so on. If that sounds like your cup of tea, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel because the content is free. We're serving information. We're serving looks. I don't know if we're serving looks, but... <laughs> anyway, so I am coming to you guys today from um, Nairobi, Kenya. I'm spending some time in Kenya on holiday and just living my life and um, I will be spending time in Nairobi and also traveling around the country in Kenya. So this vlog is just going to be like a Nairobi vlog kind of thing. So by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, that's where you get the most up-to-date stuffs, okay? <laughs> that's where you get like more information. You can follow me on Instagram. It's at Wale O Chronicles and on TikTok as well. So yeah, after all that's out of the way. Um, today I'm going to the salon because I've been suffering in Germany this whole time. Like I've been since I moved to Germany. I don't think I ever went to the salon once. I always do my hair myself. So now being back on the African continent, on the motherland, in the not on in the mod, motherland, of course, <laughs> every opportunity I get, I go to the salon. So um, when I first got to Nairobi, I chemically straightened, no, not chemically straightened, I texturized my hair. So um, to loosen the curls a bit because the 4 hair was giving me stress. So I have my hair now in a bun and I'm going to the salon now to get it styled and straightened and curled and stuff like that to look cute because this weekend i have a couple of activities i want to go for here in nairobi so i think i have a tea party on saturday high tea <laughs> you know with bushy or whatever <laughs> anyway i'm going for some activities um and some events like back to back coming up so i want to just go get my hair styled in the salon because why not when in Nairobi you make your hair, when you're in, on the motherland, I be, why did I keep saying on the motherland? When you're in the motherland, you get your hair made because in Germany, I'm always making my hair myself and I'm sick of it. Anyway, so um, I'm going to go to the salon. Then I'm meeting a friend today, an IG friend turned, no, an IG acquaintance turned friend, I hope. I'm going to meet her for the first time today and that's the plan for today and then I will I think this whole weekend I'm going to vlog all the things I'm going to do in Nairobi. Living my best baby girl life. You know me, I'm here for the soft life, baby girl vibes. That's me, that's me. That's where you will find me, where there's baby girl reason. Okay, it's enough time talking. I'm going to order my Uber and I'm going to go out. And you guys should let me know, do you want to see an apartment tour? Like my apartment in Nairobi is banging. <laughs> Lux, okay, it's not lux, but like more space than I can ever dream of in Germany for sure. <laughs> if you guys want to see an apartment tour, let me know. But this is just the living room. You can see behind me, I have the dining table here, my bag, and then the living room. Um, the TV space is around there. And anyway, I'll do a proper apartment tour if you guys want. So let me just go now and stop talking. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me here and drive. Oh. So I just arrived at the salon, and the traffic to get here was like crazy. <laughs> I used to say like, anyway, it's still the it's still the case after Jakarta traffic. Every other traffic for me is like child's play right now i don't know if i can compare lagos traffic to um nairobi traffic because um i'm not really a lagos person so i cannot really compare but jakarta traffic is 
like there's nothing I can compare to it. So there was traffic getting here today, but even this traffic was like child's play. So I'm going to take a break from filming and get my hair done. The vlogging struggle. So I actually forgot that I did not <laughs> complete the vlog at the salon because I was rushing. Then, <laughs> Honestly, there's traffic everywhere. I was I was rushing to get a taxi to go and meet my friend, and I forgot to show you guys the hairstyle at the salon. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. <laughs> you guys forgive my oh, forgive my struggle, my struggle vlog. You guys, please, <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going off to meet my friend now and there is traffic everywhere and it's probably going to take me like 45 minutes to get to her, so and I'm starving. Anyway, ah, the sunshine is giving, <laughs> I <really> admire myself, <laughs> it's giving everything it's supposed to give. Okay, see you guys. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you the traffic. So I finally met Amarachi. <laughs> It's so nice to see her in person. Um, and she brought me to this Nigerian restaurant where we're going to meet. Ordered pound yam, of course, and she ordered village jollof rice. You guys, Amarachi is the go to plug in Nairobi. So, I just copyright music because I don't even know if I'm going to spoil my vlog. Oh my god. I have to stop now, you guys. I just have to stop, okay? <laughs> And that's croaker fish too. And that's village jollof. Ah, in heaven. Hey, <laughs> I used my hands to it. And I, I've not washed my hands yet. <laughs> so there's a cat here that wants more food and he can't shut up. And the cat is harassing Amarachi. And she's giving, she's feeding the cat. Amarachi. Please tell us how long you've been living in Nairobi and if people should move to Nairobi or not. What do you think? Mm, so I've been living here for three years and almost three years. Yeah. And I think you should give it a try if you want to experience somewhere different but within Africa. It's very nice here. <laughs> so if you have the chance to choose Nairobi again, would you choose Nairobi? Yes. So I just had an idea now. I think I should interview Amarachi for the YouTube channel because that's what we do. Sorry, you guys, in my hand. <laughs> I'm going to convince her to come on the YouTube channel and talk to us about like what it's like living in Nairobi as an expat and so on. So let me stop harassing you. <laughs> let me stop harassing you with my hands now and I will see you guys later. <laughs> the continuation of my um nairobi vlog um yesterday i want to make lunch so i'll just be talking and and filming let me adjust the camera properly i want to i want to make lunch yesterday i went to cbd cbd is the downtown the real real nairobi so um i've been hearing a lot of things about cbd because um when i came to nairobi um i was of course i've been in love with nairobi since i came which is like to be expected I will share my thoughts on what I think about Kenya in general in another video. But, um, uh, what a, yeah, CBD. I went to CBD yesterday with one of my new Kenyan friends. Oh, Kenyan people are so friendly. And she told me when I was coming there, like, first of all, you need to dress homeless because you don't want to attract attention. You want to blend in because if you attract attention, somebody is going to steal your phone, steal your bag, obtain you as a human. <laughs> Like it's not the safest part of the city and it's a no-no in the night. There's no, like as a woman, I would never go there in the, in the night, but it was during the day. So I wanted to explore CBD, go to the, um, the um, Kenya archives, to the markets, just to see what the real, real is like. Unfortunately, um, <clears throat> I did not take my, let me turn on the gas because I'm hungry. Mm. So, 
Um, unfortunately, I did not take my camera with me because they said, leave all your valuables at home. Don't bring any flashy thing. I couldn't film. I was so sad. I couldn't film content for you guys, but I, I said I will come and tell you guys what the whole experience was like. So it was giving me a lot of like Lagos chaotic vibe, but still different. Um, and the market was really exciting to see the market and to walk around and since be blending in people were speaking swahili to me of although i could not respond i was so pained i've never wanted to learn a language so bad the way i wanted to be able to speak swahili since i did since i came to um nairobi anyway so um i also entered uh the public transport yesterday for the first time which is a matatu i think i took some b-roll i'm gonna put it in the video here somewhere i entered the matatu and it's a really convenient way to move around the only problem is if you don't know your way around it's a bit difficult to navigate because it's not like um it's not like the trains and trams in germany where you can check uh where one is stopping and where one is going it's more similar the transportation system is more similar to what you would have in nigeria for instance for the um matatus which are like the, the buses i need to get my rice and um put here and we'll continue talking You know, rice is life. I cannot, I cannot live a life without rice. So I already have my sauce, everything. That I'm gonna, I can't find the scissors, so I'm just using a knife to cut it. I know, basic, right? Um, yeah, so I took the matato. I also went to the thrift market yesterday um, to see what's happening there. It was really exciting to just explore these areas yesterday. And uh, what's the plan for today? The plan for today is I'm going for a Scottish... Mm -hmm. I don't know how to pronounce this word. Please, I will leave it on the screen because <laughs> I'm about to destroy it. I cannot... I'm going for a Scottish... What do you mean that? Hey. Oh. Can you imagine this kitchen? I don't know. Anyway, so um, I'm going for a Scottish cultural thing this evening with some um, some people that invited me, some of my friends. Um, they, I think they are Scottish mainly. Uh, there are some Irish people and some English people amongst them. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like a low cultural Scottish type of dance. I've never done it before. I'm going to do it today. It's happening at one of the country clubs here in Nairobi. And we're going to dress up. <laughs> You know when it's time to dress up, your girl is always happy. I'm always happy, like, <laughs> I'm always happy to dress up. This is not how I'm going. I will show you guys when I dress up how I'm going. It's not like anything fancy, like formal black tie events. I think the, the dress code is smart evening. Smart evening? Casual? Wait, let me check my phone. Um, I think I have it on my phone somewhere if I can find it. Uh... Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Something like smart evening casual. So more like um, a, a cross between cocktail dress and evening dress. Me, I'm on holiday. So <laughs> I think I just have one or two dresses, like uh, going out dresses. Because when I travel, I take like one or two just in case there's something like this that comes up. So I'm on a holiday. I did not prepare for this kind of thing. So I'm going to just wear what I have and... <laughs> Baby girl gonna slay whatever the situation, you know? <laughs> you guys, you know, like, I like to I like to say a lot of bullshit. Anyway, oh, I've been talking about five minutes. I'm gonna finish making lunch, eat lunch, um, respond to some, like, I have some emails for social media because <laughs> social media, we're on holiday, but we're not on holiday. Um, and then I'm gonna prepare to go later on in the evening. See you guys when I'm dressed and ready to bounce. I was talking the whole time and did not realize that I wasn't recording. <laughs> so I'm going to do it a second time. As I said, um, this is me ready for the event. It's, um, um, it's not super black tie. It's more like um, casual evening dress or casual evening wear, uh, whatever. I don't know. So this is the best I can do since I'm on holiday and I did not prepare for anything super fancy. I go in with this um, nice cocktail dress. 
and um, I will try to uh, film while I'm there because I'm sure you guys are curious as I am because my first time going for this it's organized by the Caledonian Society and they're in charge of like promoting um, Scottish culture and dance this particular type of Scottish dance they're in charge of promoting it globally so I'm gonna call my uber now and go there and I will try my best to take you guys along if not you will just manage some b-roll <laughs> and I'll see you in my next clip okay <laughs> Mm -hmm. Feeling myself. Feeling like, okay. It's it's time to go. Let me start by saying, like most Scots, I've got a really deep affection for Robert Burns. His poetry was read aloud at my wedding. I had to study and memorise it when I was in school. He is a bit of a national hero in Scotland. His work preserves the Scots language. Discovering the national tongue. And if I was to read or deliver this speech in Scots, it would sound a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Today I'm coming to you guys from, oh I hope I'm not going to fall, from Karura Forest. It's one of the must do things in Nairobi. I'm going with a couple of new friends that I just made in Nairobi. So I love walking and I've missed walking since coming to Nairobi because walking is totally not a thing here. So I'm happy to go for it. I think it's going to be a 10 kilometer walk that we're going to do today. And then after that we're going to have lunch soon. have the waterfall there <laughs> there are lots of people here as you can imagine everybody came here to see the waterfall behind me and it was actually not a very long walk from the gate the gate we came in through was um, the one close to river cafe and it was it's like maybe like a 15 minute walk maximum to get to this um, uh, to get to this waterfall from river cafe so we're gonna continue the walk now and so after walking for 10 kilometers we decided to stop by at one of the restaurants close to the um Karura Forest it's called River Cafe and then we had lunch there and after lunch some of us decided afterwards to go to a place called Spinner's Web it's a perfect place for buying souvenirs and gifts like really nice handmade crafts and gifts for your friends and family so we spent a couple of hours there and it was such a chill day I highly recommend getting your souvenirs from here whenever you're in Nairobi so I think I'm going to stop this vlog here if you've not watched my other part one or part two to Nairobi Kenya vlog make sure you watch that vlog it's worth it <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you in my next video bye